Hello everyone. Let's do a check in with my goals. <laughs> so at the beginning of the year, I put out a video for what my goals are going to be for 2025. Uh, let's see how I'm doing on those. Um, spoiler alert, there's some that I've given up on, but that's, that's life. So I'm, I have my list here. I've taken it off of my desk. So let's go ahead and get into the goals. So the first goal that I have written down is to read 125 books in the year 2024. I'm pulling up my Goodreads right now. I have read 123 books. As of filming this on June 27th, I'm two books away from meeting my goal. We have six months left in the year. I will surpass my goal. So don't need to worry about that. My 124th book I am working on right now is The House Switch number three by Delamock. And then I think I'm going to do Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And so that book should tick off and help make it so that I hit my 125 book goal. Uh, the second goal I have written down is to be more active in readathons, which I do believe I have been. There's a lot of readathons I've been participating in. I'm still not as quote unquote active as I would like to be as far as commenting and engaging on discords for the readathons. For example, there's one uh, Monsters University that I will be trying to participate in in the month of July. And so when I say be more active in readathons, I mean just commenting on discords, trying to be a little bit more engaged and stuff. It ebbs and flows. There are times where I do post a couple times and then somewhere I post once or twice. So, but overall, I would say I am a little bit more active. Uh, post more. Goal number three is to post more on Instagram. Like I post a picture of the book when I finish it. And that's so that hasn't changed. I would like to do hauls and wrap ups. I've kind of forgotten about that. Not kind of. I have forgotten about that. So hopefully I will moving forward, but there's no guarantees on that. I'm not going to pressure myself. I mean, I'm working full time. I'm dealing with a lot of health issues, um, an increase in some health issues. And so trying to push through some of these goals, I just am not going to worry about it. Ideally, I would like to, uh, but we'll see. And then another goal is I, ha I have was to live stream once a month. This has not happened at all. I still would like to eventually be able to do live streams. I, a lot of the times when I film this, I am on like a, these videos, I'm on a down moment with work or on a quick break, but I work 10 hour shifts. And so to come back down into my office and do however long I do a live stream for, for is a little kind of a, a lot for my back because it's just full of arthritis and so the pain gets pretty bad like on average I'm sitting about a five or a six pain level on a scale of one to ten one being very minimal ten being the absolute worst my average days are about a five or a six and it just ramps up throughout the day and by the evening I'm at like a seven or eight and I've just got to lay down so I just can't commit to doing live streams. Now, if I have, and I want to do things like my fingernails are so thin and weak. I take vitamin D, I take calcium, um, all for other reasons. But no matter what I do, my nails are still very thin. They're very weak. They peel. Um, and like my thumbs are notorious for splitting right down the middle. And that is very painful. So to avoid that pain, I want to keep up with my nails. And so to avoid pain, I would rather go and sit for 40, about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how long the, how busy the salon is to have my fingernails done rather than commit to sitting however long to do a live stream. So I still would like to, and on eventually I hope to get that way to be able to do those, but I just can't guarantee it. So I'm not even going to worry about trying to do that. Um, outside of reading. So another goal that I had was to lose 25 pounds in tw the year 2024. As of right now, I'm down 
depending on the week, I'm, I'm consistently down either 10 or 15 pounds. I'm right around that mark. So 10 or 15 pounds, um, and I'm happy with that right now. I would like to continue to lose more because I know that with the amount of arthritis I have in my back, I know I have arthritis in my knees, and I have arthritis in my feet. If I can lose some of this excess weight, that's less pressure on those joints that are riddled with arthritis. So that would be a good thing. But I don't want to push so that I lose it too fast to risk just gaining it all back. And I know gaining the weight back is always a factor no matter how fast or slow you lose the weight, but I want to make sure it's done in a healthy way. Um, so, but being down, depending on the week, between 10, I'm bouncing between a five pound mark right now, but I'm down consistently at least the 10 pounds. Sometimes the scale shows I'm down 15. So, but that's kind of where it is. Exercise three days a week was my other goal. I have not done that. <laughs> Again, it's one of those things, it's like I'm in a lot of pain, and so it hurts to try to exercise, but I know I'll ultimately feel better, and so it's just trying to get up the strength. Um, the energy is fine. I have the energy to do it, but it's trying to be, feel well enough to do so. So I'm going to try walking in place or something. Right now my goal, rather than committing to exercising three days a week, is just to... So right now my goal is just to try to walk a little bit more. So get up from my desk at work and go and rotate a load of laundry. Go and get a drink of water. Go and do something just to get some more steps in. And then hopefully I'll be able to work up to actually doing a full-blown workout of some kind. Um... The next goal I have regarding my health is to drink less soda and more water. I have done that, not as well as I would have hoped. One thing I have found, there's this brand called Ice, and I have been drinking some more of these. This is my favorite flavor so far, and this is the pine coconut pineapple. And this is just flavored sparkling water, and if this is what helps me drink a little bit more water, rather than just straight up soda, like Dr. Diet Dr. Pepper or Diet Coke all day, that's a good thing. Um, so ultimately, yes, my water intake has improved, and I would like to be even better at it. Three more goals to tell you about and to tell you how I'm doing. Um, the other one is to stop comparing myself and other and my content that I put out on the YouTube channel to others. I've done that. Um, I don't worry about it anymore. I've finally gotten to the place where it's like, I'm a completely different person. I'm going to do what I enjoy and I'm going to do what works for me and my health and my life situation. Um, and if other people can do more as far as fancy or editing, great. I, one, I don't care about editing. And it's, you know, I mean, the extent of my editing is to cut out, for example, if I'm drinking so much soda and I burp, <laughs> I'm going to cut that out of the video. Uh, so just cutting out spots like that, or if I get a phone call, or, you know, things like that, I'm just not going to be doing a bunch of fancy schmancy editing. So I'm just not interested in that. Uh, the only other extent is when I talk about like an ebook and I insert an image of the ebook. So that's as fancy as I'm going to get. Maybe it'll improve, but as of right now, I do not care. So, moving on, the last two goals. One is to stay on top of family birthdays, and I have done that. I have done a birthday card for everyone in my family thus far. Uh, so, my aunts and my uncles, and like that. And I actually have an uncle whose birthday is coming up at the start of July. Oh, I better double check that. I do have a card set aside. For him, um, when is his birthday? July 12th. So the first week of July, like I'll plan and get it out like maybe Friday or Saturday, so the 5th or 6th of July. So I do have a card on file for him, and I've hit all of the birthdays so far, so I've done well with that. And then the last goal I have for 2024 was to make Christmas gifts. I have done well with that. I have... Right now, I am working on some Mickey Mouse, so I have Goofy right here. I have, there's two coasters with Mickey. I have one with Donald, two with Daisy, and two with Minnie. I'm working on these ones for one of my uncles that lives in Utah. And then I have ordered a set of coasters of dragons for my other uncle that lives here in Utah. 
and then I will have completed a um, Christmas gift for all of my aunts and uncles. So I just have these two uncles left and then I have all of their Christmas done. And then I have my grandma and my grandpa that are still alive as of right now. Um, and they're living in Utah. I don't know how long they're going to be around. So I'm hoping if they that I'll be able to do something and give it to them by Christmas. If they don't, you know, that's just what happens. They're in their mid to late 80s at the oldest. I don't, I think the, actually they're probably late to early 90s now. So I'm not quite sure, and their health is, my understanding, is pretty poor. So I'm not sure how long I will have the opportunity to make them something. So, but I would like to do something. I just need to decide what I'm going to make for them. And then that's all of my family other than my mom. Now my mom, I know I'll buy stuff for her, but I would like to make her a couple of things too. Need to decide on that. So those are the three other family members. And then I would like to make something, just a little something for people that I work with. Um... But that, it's, you know, whichever. And then I have some people that are on YouTube that I would like to make stuff for as well. So I am doing all right with that. Uh, this is still a lot of people to make stuff for, so I may decide not to do something for all of my coworkers. I don't know, but definitely my grandma, my grandpa, my mom, my mom's boyfriend. Um, we have a couple of family friends, and I would need to decide what to do for them. But other than that, I'm doing okay on it, and so I am enjoying that. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased with how things have gone. There are some some that I have said I'm giving up on, like uh, the live streams, things like that. I'm just not going to put that pressure on myself. My focus is to try to continue to slowly lose the weight. I have good days when it comes to eating where, you know, I'm eating healthier, my, the pain, and this is the thing that's hard. One, it's summer, and I don't want to stand around and cook in a hot kitchen. Number two, even if it was the middle of winter, I cannot stand around and cook in the kitchen. I can barely pop a bag of popcorn without starting to double over in pain. So five minutes is about my limit before I, I can't stand anymore um, due to the excess pain. So, and that's part of why I want to lose weight is to try to relieve some of the pressure to try and hopefully make it so that I can stand longer and be able to exercise to make it so I can stand longer. So yes, I do know I, because of that, I am eating a lot more processed foods, but I am trying to stay within a right now focus on a calorie deficit. Um, but again, you know, just trying to just slowly lose this weight. Um, cause I know eating nothing but process is not healthy and ideal for you, but at least I'm getting some stuff in, uh, into my system. So I'm tr right now my fa my focus is on calories. And then I think once I feel pretty confident with that and serving sizes and calories, then I'll probably, um, uh, add in making sure I get enough protein or staying under a certain limit with sodium. So just kind of one step at a time because I know in the past when I have tried to focus on so many things like sodium, sugar, carbs, fat, protein, you know, all of that stuff along with the calories and trying to move more, it just gets so overwhelming and I give up. So I'm just trying to focus on one thing at a time until I'm fairly confident with it and it's not as stressful and then I can add something else on. So that's kind of where things are at right now. I'm not going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and just recycle this. I'm not going to worry about focusing on these goals. I'm just going to continue to just try to do the best that I can, um, and go from there. So, you know, we'll just kind of see what the rest of 2024 brings. So let me know how is your year going so far. I hope it is going as well as it can be. And I hope you are not feeling alone. And if you are, I am so sorry that you are feeling that way and having a rough time if that is the case. And I hope that things improve and start to get better for you. So thank you so much for watching and sticking around. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. It means the world to me. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, let me know any of your thoughts. And again, I hope you guys are doing well. Please stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I will talk to you later.